My first question is, uh, you had mentioned the way this film was made. Can you explain how this, was, how this film was made, what the process was for yeah, this? Yeah, um, I made rubbings of manhole covers and gratings and other things out on the streets and other, uh, like the LA train station, places like that, where I found interesting surfaces. Um, so I, I would take a stack of paper, rag paper, used for printmaking, um, with me to a location, and I would do my first rubbing with a um, piece of a, a kind of a big crayon. And um, then I would lay the other piece on top of it and just slightly offset it a little bit in whatever direction I want my motion to go. And I'd pull the first piece out and do a new rubbing. So I'd come up with like 100 rubbings or 50 or 30, whatever it took for each sequence. Um, and in that way, um, rather than doing, say, one giant rubbing, it became some, somehow a camera move. Um, I hadn't really conceptualized this, but what ended up happening was that it, it made it breathe. You, know, it, you had this. You had the registration of the image, but you had the changing texture. So that created a sort of a new quality. And I post-registered it to shoot it under the animation camera. And some of them were collages, where which were very complex and great. Where um, I would do the most complex when I had like five different locations in the same rubbing. So I'd have to take you know, for a different part of town to, to do the other part of it. So were these all done in one area of town, or was it? No, they were done all over. One part was done in UCLA just before they built the Fowler Museum. And I remember going over there. Oh man, they, my 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 <laughs> grading is gone. On, my drain. And it was the one where I dropped this big special crayon that I used down once, and I had to get my, my uh, boyfriend to come over and help me pull it out. And it was like five feet underground. <laughs> but anyway, um, no, that was it. I mean, I just uh, I did it all over LA. Um, Sometimes in the street, which is really dangerous. <laughs> Cars came by. Um, so when it says made on location in Los Angeles, it literally was. But um, I, I actually got the idea to do that film. I just, I just finished a collage cutout film, and um, I was a student here. I was a grad student, and that was my thesis film. But um, I did a rubbing of a giant tire. One of the um, I was in the animation program here, and one of the live action students had left this big giant tire in our room because we had a lot of space one day and I decided to do a rubbing on it I just like the texture and I used it for a poster for one of our engineer screenings and I just got enamored with the rubbing process. And I always liked manholes and things that you see in the city and you walk around and see and so I so that is, um, basically most of my work is a little bit experimental, a little bit collage but it's generally it's seeing things that are normal and commonplace in, new, in a new way. Dream, you know, vision things. So, are you a Los Angeles native? No, I'm from the Bay Area. Oh, okay. So, but you have you grown up in big cities, or was this? Um, I grew up just outside of San Francisco. I spent time in San Francisco a lot as a kid, and then I lived there before I moved. So, when you talk about this kind of um, finding things in the surroundings, do you find that a lot of that is informed by kind of the city environment or the urban environment, or do you seek out things that can't be found in Los Angeles or? Mm -hmm. in you know, um, in this case, yeah, it was about city stuff. I think I've always loved big cities. I mean, I'd take a vacation and I would go to New York or I'd go to Paris and I'd go to, as opposed to you know, the country, I guess. You know, I love that too. <laughs> um, but, um, not com but it's not completely true. I mean, like the film I'm doing now is very different than that. It's, it's the same in the sense of taking something and seeing it in a new way, but it really isn't about the city. <laughs> it's more about family and memory and things like that. Um, but yeah, for, for this one. It's yeah, it's very present in kind of what surrounds this area, especially. Yeah, and you know, there's sort of an inside joke at the beginning because I just made a film called Swimming that was a cutout collage, kind of semi autobiographical. Mm. So I did the whole beginning sequence with all the water things and the way all the water. <laughs> I'm just sort of struck by how many there are. There's so many different ones when you just walk around. And they're all different. So because of my love of water, I decided to put that at the beginning of the film. Any, any other questions about this? Yeah. It's um, kind of a reference to kind of archaeological kind of thing because rubbing is used to kind of copy hieroglyphs and yeah. stuff like that, study them. So I was getting that kind of sense of like kind of doing archaeology on modern cities. Kind of ironic, but it's also you know in, in in these large complex places we usually don't understand why things are the way they are as we you know see them there, but we have no 
connection to it right. other than the fact that it occupies the same space as us. Well, why is that? It's that big building without windows. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, on the first part of what you said, that's interesting because the um, some of the stuff that Wirt Manhole covers, there's like one that's kind of like a or uh, a mirror image of itself. That it's part of a, something I found in the uh, train station downtown. That I don't even know if it's still there, but it's part of a wall, and it was just really beautiful to me. And you know, I do kind of want to hold on to these things that are from the past and maybe disappearing. Um, and then the other, especially when you were talking about. The, some of that, some of those uh, rubbings being done in an area that now the Thal Museum is Yeah, in. yeah. There is, even, even within this time span, some of those elements are disappearing. It's constantly being yeah. made over. And then um, on the why things are that way, I mean, one thing I think about the manhole covers is they're all round, you know, for purpose. And they, so they have that sort of mandala, you know, quality that I think almost in all cultures people relate to that shape and that design, you know, some element. Of it. So I think that may have been something that struck a chord with me. Any other thoughts about this? Questions? Well, I was really appreciating that film because it made me aware of the surroundings that like, I've kind of thought to more of now. Like, if you go someplace that really accentuates the street, like Barcelona, for example, like, you can tell the neighborhood you're in just by looking at the way the patterns are on the street. It just made me more aware of <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate the comment. I mean, I do think there's sort of beauty uh, and more interest in the everyday things. Thank you, I appreciate being here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.